on the right wing and Reese Cotter as fullback. And for Stowe Market, we have in the number one jersey, Jack Haywood. Number two, Matthew Turner. Number three, Ben Honeyball. Number four, Jordan Robinson. At five, Luke Keatley as, and also vice-captain. Number six, Edward Hawkins. Number seven, Zach Shine Lacey. Number eight, Alistair Vivian. And their backs at number nine, Scott Dunbar. Ten, Daniel Garrard and also captain. Eleven, Scott Walnut. Number 12, Jack Hewitt. Number 13, Bradley Durrant. Number 14, Thomas Wright. And fullback. And number 15, Jonathan Main. As you can see, Falk has just scored the first try of the game. With Dan Stone taking the kick. Goes nicely between the sticks. Farrak 7, Stowe Market nil. So it's Stowe Market to reset. The ref has pulled it back. Didn't go 10. <laughs> so as the scrum setting, it will be a furrock ball. Nice handoff by Ben Timpson. Passing it out to Aaron. Oh. They found the break, now they're running. Great bit of distance made by Farrakh there. So after Farrakh's last week performance against Ipswich, they should be in high spirits with the nice little win there. So hopefully they can bring the momentum into this game. And let's see what happens in this scrum. Stone Market have just cleared it upfield into touch. So it's now a Farrock line out. Aaron 
Aaron running it into contact there. Dan to Niall to Reese to Kai. Kai gets taken into touch. So it's Stone Market to take the line out here. <laughs> Great tackle there. Looks like Stone Market are going to try and kick it into touch, which they are doing so. <laughs> so there'll be a, another line out. An unlucky line out for Farrakh. So they reset. Again, another line out. Tony Loke has not been able to play today because he picked up a suspension and a red card in the last game against Ipswich. So I believe James Rogers is taking his place today. Reese Cotter has kicked it into touch. Oh no. Another strong line out. It's a game of many lineouts so far, with Stone Market to take, I believe, their fourth lineout of the game. Very sh <laughs> Farrak losing some ground there. With, I believe, them with their trying to kick it into touch.
always been the, uh, the new pin. So, for lots of Farrakh fans' delights, we've now got a working scoreboard. This one's now electronic with a timer. We finally came into the 21st century, I believe. So, it's great to be able to keep up with the scores again. That was a forward pass there. So that will be a Farrakh scrum. Farrakh need a nice strong scrummage here as we are close to our own try line. So let's see what they're capable of. <laughs> ben takes it into contact. And it's Stowe Market's fullback, Jonathan Mann, to kick. <laughs> Straight over the top and between the sticks, Farrakh 7, Stone Market 3. <clears throat> I've been asked as well to apologise for not the normal commentator, I'm Brad, uh, Ralph couldn't make it to Farrakh today. So I've taken his place. They wanted an upgrade supposedly, so they got me instead. Unfortunately I haven't got the, the uh, Farrakh history or wisdom behind me. But we'll see how we get on today. So Jay Jennings goes into contact. It's gone to Timson. Straight to Niall Clifford. Henry Bird runs it out. <coughs> Farrakh making some nice territory now. No. The referee has called it back for an earlier infringement.
We go for a Farrakh line out. Where does it take us if we win this? Well, just one. <laughs> Ahmed runs it. Made some serious territory but stopped. Come on boys, drive it, drive it over. That's very unlucky for Farrakh. That's the market's chasing. <laughs> A great slide tackle by Reese Cotter, the fullback. When needs must. Sliding tackle. <laughs> Farrakh wasn't ready for the reset and had to put on the gas to trust to get back. <laughs> so it'll be a stow market line out deep in the Farrakh half. That was a great hit there. Strong defensive line. Stow Market have opted for the line out. Stone Market took it quickly, but Farrakh was there to recover. Andy McAllister has been yellow carded after that little altercation with kicking the ball. And Stow Market has been given the penalty try, which then now makes it 10 7 to Stow Market. Let's take a 
We have Niall Clifford to kick. Ahmed to recover. Tackled into touch. It will be a stone market line out. Been plenty of line outs uh, this half. Team do that. Yeah. So it'll be a forex scrum because the lineup wasn't straight. Stevens takes it to ground. Passes to Bird. And that is a far try there. Great try by Kai Holloway. With Henry Bird's kick. Not the easiest position to kick from. See what you can do with 40 men, boys! Lovely grub! And even though Ralph Henderson isn't here today, we've got plenty of Welsh supporters cheering on the boys. Did you not see the, uh, <laughs> the English ladies come on? Unfortunately, it wasn't converted. So it's now 12 10 to Farrakh, with Farrakh pulling back into the lead. Stone market to kick. Nice recovery by Timpson.
passes it out to the wing. Ahmed goes to the ground. <laughs> Jay Jennings runs into contact. Hand off by Timson. Stone has now got the ball. Oh, unfortunately, Kai's knocked it forward. That was a great bit of play by Farrak there, though. Like to give a special mention to Mercedes Foyers, also watching from the Cayman Islands. Stone Market has kicked it. Great recovery by fullback Reese Cotter. Look at his face! Stone Market kicks it into touch. Again, deep into Farrakh's end. Passes out to Henry Bird. And kick into touch there. Andy McAllister is now back on from his 10 minutes cool down on the, in the sim bin. So Farah can now back up to the full 15. Stone Market fondled the ball a little bit, but recovered, and now a nice box kick. Oh, 
Potter to clear it. Now far it to Chase. No, running it and passing it on to Ahmed. Ahmed making some serious ground there. And Jay Jenning runs it into contact. Henry goes down. So it's a, it's a Farrak, a penalty to Farrak, and I believe the captain is just figuring out what they want to do. And I think we're opting for the scrum. Yeah. That's a better scrum for Farrakh there. And that's gone into touch. As much as a rugby player loves softer ground because of the rain, it can make the ball quite slippery. So there's a lot more room for error. Especially when it comes to handling of the ball. But I believe Farrakh's been doing quite alright with it. So it'll be a stone market line out. Deep in their half. Great tackle there by Andy. Aaron made some serious ground with that run. They've got the overlap. And there's a try there by Kai Holloway. The try's not been given. The ref has called it a forward pass, so it'll be a stone market scrum. Very unlucky there. Nevertheless, we go on. So it's stone market to put in. 
Great tackle there by Andy McAllister again. Went backwards. Oh, go wide, go wide. Oh, running down the left wing. Great tackle by Stay Market. It looks like Stone Market's obtained an injury in that old, earlier altercation and tackle. He seems to go up. So we will resume play now. So now it will be a Farrakh scrum. Fire runs on the inside. That was unlucky there. Advantage to Farrak, I believe. That's a great bit of territory gained by Farrak. <laughs> And that is the end of the first half with Farrakh 12, Stowe Market 10. I feel that Farrakh has done pretty well at the moment as we went up.
with just 14 men. Yeah. So let's hope we can stay strong in the second half and get some more tries underneath our belts. But all in all, great first half. Lots of line outs, lots of great tackling and a strong defensive line by Tees. As Farouk just have one last team huddle before they get on the way. Well, you said you were working.
So Stone Market to get us back on the way for the second half. Great catch by Timpson. Pass it out to Dan Stone and he takes the kick. And that's gone out for a line out. <laughs> Alex Jones is now on. That's the replacement scrum half. Pause it out to Timpson. Timpson's got Ahmed on his left side. Ahmed's running. Tackled into touch there. Great little run there by Ahmed though. So it'll be a Stone Market line out deep in their own half. There was an obstruction, so it's now Farrex ball and a great position to turn over. Henry's going for the kick into touch. So it'll be a Farrex line out right on Stowe Market's try line. There's a slip by Timpson, but great recovery by Farrakh. Not just uh, not quite over the line there, but straight out to Kai Holloway, and Kai finishes it for another Farrakh try. <laughs> great bit of play there by Farrakh on what is a really wet and rainy day. Which is great conditions for rugby players when it comes to tackling, but not so great when it comes to running and handling of the ball. So Dan Stone's gonna take the kick here. The wind's dropped since the first half. <laughs> the ball doesn't want to stay on the tee right now, so has to reset his ball position before he can go for the kick. Unfortunately, they didn't convert, so the score now is Forex 17, Stowe Market 10.
Stoke Market to restart. Cotter to kick. Not only did he kick the ball, he chased down Stowe Market for the tackle as well. Now it's to Ahmed. Great bit of play to keep it in there. And he takes it into, uh, in, into contact even. Oh, I'm unlucky there. Again, the ball does get slippery in these conditions, so handling errors are easily made. At the earlier tackle, there seems to be two injuries. One, uh, stone market, and Ahmed seems to be down as well. Hopefully the injury isn't too bad and he can continue to play. Seems like Ben Honeyball for Stowe Market has some sort of arm injury and has been taken off. Farrah kicks into touch there. <laughs> And it'll be a Farrak line out. Again, deep into Stay Market's territory. Great hands by Jay Jennings there. And a great try there by Ben Simpson, captain. Makes it 22-10 to Farrak. And it's Dan.
Dan Stone to take another kick and another attempt to get between the sticks. This time more of a better angle. Let's see what he can do. Very unlucky there as the ball fell off the tee. Nevertheless, 22 10 to Farrakh. Great tackle by Ben and Andy McCasa, pulling their number 12 into touch. So it'll be a Farrakh line out. Again, great hands by Jay Jennings. Pass it out to Stone to Henry. Kick was blocked, but great recovery. Oh, Armin picks it up. Henry clears. Yeah. Ahmed's gone down again. I believe that his earlier injury is still causing him a bit of discomfort. Alex Jones, our physio, has just come to uh, check up on him make sure that he's fine. So that's now been kicked into touch. For a far line out. Passes it to Carter. Carter. Carter's on the sprint. He's got Kai with him. But tackled into touch there. There's a great bit of running there by Reese Carter. So it's Stowe Market to take the line out here.
Unlucky there. Tackle there by Reese Cotter. And great pick up by Joe Jennings there to turn over the ball to fire it. And that's gone into touch there. A game of many lineouts, it would seem. Haven't personally been keeping score, but there's been a, a fair few. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be a Farrak line out. <laughs> Great little pick up there by Henry Bird from a pass out from Alex Jones. To Nile. Ahmed takes the inside. Go on, Ahmed. Straight out to Kai. <laughs> and the referee's now pulled it back. <laughs> Henry kicks into touch there. Yeah. Nice pick up by Jay Jennings there. The young Jay Jennings. With Ben stopped in his tracks, gone to ground. Lovely kick there by Reese Cotter. That was a brilliant kick. Yeah, she came up to training.
So it's a Farrakh line out. Again, deep in Stow Mar uh, Stow Market's territory. Fire goes for the corner. That's another try there for Farrak. Which will now make it 27 10. I feel that the win from last week against Ipswich has definitely motivated the team to proceed their winning streak this week. So it's going to be Henry to take the kick. Just gone on the outside of the right post. So, as the score stands, Farrakh 27, Stow Market 10. With Stow Market to restart. With Jonathan Mann to kick. Great hands by Aaron Anubis there. Made his, made his voice very clear there that he was going for that ball and he got it. That was a great little run by Kai there, unfortunately. Pass didn't find anyone there. There was a penalty there for Farrakh obstructing a player. <laughs> So Jonathan Mann will <laughs> And there's been a substitution for Fark. Tom Wellman has come off for Frank Wright. <laughs> we also have the second row Jay Jennings' brother as one of our finishers today, Sam Jennings. A good friend of mine actually. We used to play all through the youth and it's lovely to see him play for the first team. He truly deserves it. So their full back Jonathan Mann has kicked into touch 
for a Stowe Market line out. Great still there by Farrak. But unfortunately he was holding on, so it's now. <laughs> Another holding on infringement there. And there's been a yellow card for Stone Market. After them having a few words with the fire players. So Stone Market now down to 14 men. It's also nice to see uh, back coach Sally Russo here, who's currently on maternity leave after giving birth to an absolute beautiful baby girl. So it's Henry to kick, and he's playing into touch here. Lovely little kick there by Henry. Cotter's now running with Reese uh, Carney's outside. Yeah. Uh, lovely try there by Kai Holloway. Which brings the scores to 32 10 Farrak. Lovely little bit of play there for Farrak. Dan Stone there gets the conversion, making it 34-10 to Farrakh.
It's great to see that Farrakh's having most of the possession of this match. Especially at home at Oakfield. It's also nice to see a lot of supporters here today, especially in these weather conditions. It's not the nicest when you're a supporter, but nevertheless, we have a fair few people here today to watch. So the ball didn't go 10, that's the second time. So it'll be a Furrock scrum. Picked up there by Stone Market. And the penalty there for not releasing. Great tackle there by Andy McAllister. Ahmed picks up. Goes to ground there. Tom Wellman. The referee has called another penalty for holding on again. And Ahmed's down again with a slight injury. Which looks just like a little bit of cramp with these weather conditions being cold. It's easy to cramp up. He might be down, but he's never down for too long. So that, there was a knock on there, so it'd be a Farrakh ball and a Farrakh scrum. We need a strong scrum for Farrakh here. Great scrum. Ahmed's on the win. Back to Reese. No. Kick 
네. I feel that Kai made his run a little bit too early there. Good effort. But it was a brilliant effort. And it's a thorough scrum. Scrum seem to go sideways. <laughs> so that'll be reset. We're into the final eight minutes of the game as well. With Farrakh. With quite a uh, big lead. <laughs> I feel that the ground is just a little bit too soft and muddy, so having to move the scrum over just as just the slightest. <laughs> Picked up by Dan Stone to Henry. Henry's running back to Timpson. Great support there. The ref called that for a penalty due to not uh, to, due to holding on. Into touch, into touch there. And big Sam Jennings is coming on for Aaron for the final six minutes of the game. Whenever Sam plays, there's a big impact. Playing alongside him for many years. I know that he does one great team talk. And can change the scrum. So let's see what he can do in the line out.
So that's a Farrakh line out. Great drive there by Farrakh. Cotter picks it up, passes to Ahmed. <coughs> Kaya's running it back in. Unfortunately, Dan Stone has knocked it on. So it'll be a Stone Market scrum with our two replacement props. Stone market making ground now. <laughs> and now the ref has pulled it back. And Stone market has opted to kick it into touch. <laughs> I'm going to try there for Stone Market. Again, it will be their full back, Jonathan Mann, to take the kick. And he makes that conversion. So the score now is thirty four eighteen to Farrak. With just over two minutes left on the clock. That's right, Marco the cameraman. That is enough time to score another try. <laughs> Fire it to chase. There's a knock on there. Well done, Chase! 
There was less time than we thought here, and the refs called it. So the final score is Farrakh 34, Stow Market 17. I feel that Farrakh has had the most percentage, uh, percentage possession this game with some great runs, great tackles, and great lineouts. Kai Holloway, absolute dynamite on the wing today, as well as Captain Ben Timpson, all scoring tries for Farrakh. So, at the end of this match, the sun's now setting. I thank both of uh, thank the cameraman Marco for being here today and filming the great game, and thank you for watching the YouTube live for Farrakh. I've been Brad Jones, and this has been Farrakh against Stone Market. Thank you very much.